Do you want to query your own text and PDF files using LLMs? No problem. I'll show you the basics of querying your own PDF and text files using Pinecone, Langchain, and OpenAI. Let's get started. So in order for us to accomplish our goal of querying our own custom file using Langchain, uh, Pinecone, and OpenAI, we are going to have to do a couple of things. The first step is to create an embedding for our file and save those embeddings into the Pinecone vector database. Um, there could be instances, in fact, there are always, almost always instances where our file is larger than the token limit for OpenAI. And in, because of that, the first thing that we need to do while creating an embedding for our file is to split it up into multiple documents. So we split it up first, and then once we have split up our document into multiple smaller chunks, we use OpenAI's embedding API in order to create vector embeddings of our documents. And then we save these vector embeddings into the Pinecone database. So that's our step one. The next step is our querying. So the step is, in, in order to be able to query our document using natural language models such from OpenAI, such as GPT, we will have to first convert our query into an embedding using OpenAI's embedding API. So here the user is asking the query, we use the embedding API to convert this query into an embedding. And then we use a Pinecone database to search for semantically similar documents in Pinecone, similar to the embedding for the query. And once we have the results, contextually aware results are returned to the user using the OpenAI LLM API, uh, which means it will respond using natural language. Those are the two steps. Now we're gonna jump into actually the notebook for the code. Okay, this is our notebook. First things first, we need to make sure we have installed our dependencies, which are Langchain, OpenAI, Pinecone Client, and TikToken. Next, we need to have our OpenAI API key, as well as we need to set the variable for our embedding model, which is going to be the ADA model. Um, and then we also need to set up our Pinecone API key, as well as the Pinecone environment. So this information you will get from Pinecone, and uh, this information you will get from OpenAI. Okay, next, we need to import the required modules, which is OpenAI, Langchain, and Pinecone. And also, from Langchain, we need to import OpenAI embeddings, recursive character text splitter, Pinecone, as well as OpenAI. Next we are going to now open the file that we are going to use for our demo. I have already downloaded the wonderful Wizard of Oz in text format in my data folder from the gutenberg.org website. Gutenberg.org is a wonderful uh, resource for public domain books. We have imported the file. Next, if you remember in our step one in the presentation, we are going to split our document into smaller chunks. So that's what we are doing here. We're setting the chunk size to be 2000 and chunk overlap to be zero. All right, once we have set up the text splitter, now we are going to split our text using the create documents call. I'm going to run this cell. And you can see now from our original document, it has created 124 chunks. And let's see what it prints out for the 31st chunk over here. Here's some text that it prints out from our file. We're done with splitting the document. We need to um, set up our pine cone. So the way to do that is uh, calling pinecone.init with our pinecone API key and our pinecone environment. And we're going to need an index. So the way embeddings are stored in pinecone are via index. And I'm gonna show you how this is done in pinecone. Let's go to pinecone. 
I've already created the index that we're going to be using for our demonstration, but the way you would do it is you go to create index. I'm on the starter pack, so I won't be able to create uh, my index. And we know that the dimensionality of the embeddings written by the ADA model is 1536. So you'll say 1536, and you'll set the metrics to cosine and you'll click on create index. The setup of the index takes a little while, maybe like a few minutes. And once it's, it says it's ready, you are ready to go back to your workbook. All right, we've done the pinecone related setup here. Let's now set up the embeddings call, which we will then pass as parameter to pinecone. We will use the pinecone.from text call to create the embeddings and then have them saved into the pinecone index called test search book. Let's run this cell. We can now see that book underscore doc search is of type vector store. Finally, we are now ready to do the setup for actually using the natural language model to query our vector database. This is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is simply set up an LLM chain, and then we set up our query, which is, in this case, we are going to ask it, who is Dorothy, because we are querying the file uh, of the wonderful world of Wizard of Oz. Then we do a similarity search on the Pinecone vector store, uh, passing it the query. Once we've done that, we then call our LLM chain with the results of our similarity search. So the response that we will get back will be the response in a natural language format. So let me run this cell. So here we have a response from uh, the language model saying, Dorothy is a young girl who was carried away by a cyclone from her home She's innocent and harmless, and she has never killed anything in her life, which sounds about right. Okay, so this wraps up the section about querying a text file using Langchain, Pinecone, and OpenAI. Next, we are going to move on to the section for querying PDF files. This is very similar to the text files, but we are going to use a PDF loader in this case. So let's just quickly run through this. We're going to need to import the PI PDF loader from Langchain in order to be able to load our PDF file. In this case, we are loading the file called Scale Zeitgeist AI Readiness Report 2023.pdf. If you haven't read this report, by the way, uh, you should. It's a very interesting report published by Scale.ai. I will put a link to it in the description of this video. In any case, moving on, we use the PI PDF loader in order to load this file from our data folder. Let's quickly examine a chunk of data to make sure the load has worked correctly. And this seems about right. All right, so we will now go through the same motions as we did for the text file, which is first we'll split up the document, then we'll set up the query, and then call similarity search uh, on, uh, on the query, uh, which will return us back vector data from Pinecone. And then with that, we will call the LLM chain and see what the natural language response of that result is. I can see that it is picking up this response from page eight of the PDF document. Let's do one final query. What outcomes have companies seen from AI adoption? So we see that it's picking up a response which is saying improved customer experiences, ability to develop new products and services, improve existing products, and to improve collaboration across business functions. And we see that these are all being picked up from page eight of the document. Subscribe to my channel and like this video for more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comments if there are particular topics you'd like for me to cover. So that's it for now and talk to you soon. Bye.